tanto la del cielo como la de la tierra. In the Archdiocese of Guadalajara in Mexico, 70 new priests were ordained over Pentecost weekend. Welcoming this unusually large number of priests stemmed from years of hard work. The Archdiocese has created a program to work with young people directed by priests and seminarians to promote vocations. They are doing a lot of hard work, slowly but it's permanent, so that in the parishes, in addition to attention given to families directly and indirectly, a permanent team is in each parish dedicated to promoting consecrated vocations for both men and women. In Guadalajara, between 35 and 40 priests are usually ordained each year, but on this occasion there were so many young men that two ceremonies were needed to ordain them all. The ordinations coincided with the 325th anniversary of the seminary's founding, which led to an intensification of the vocation program. The mission to promote vocations has grown through the examples set by other priests, the role of the family, and the personal experiences of each young man. Guadalajara is a land where the faith, the devotion of the people, has been promoted, where families tend to be generous in terms of consecrated vocations. The vocations of these 70 men did not happen overnight, but we are grateful for them. Although it may seem like a large group, there are still not enough men to satisfy the pastoral needs of all the faithful in the archdiocese, yet the increase in the number of vocations shows a promising future. Some of the new priests have already done previous studies for a degree, like architecture, accounting. There have even been doctors who are already practicing. They are young men with all the characteristics of today's youth, restless, technological, but we hope that with all the things that we can no longer do without today, at the root of young people is a deep piety and longing to serve the faithful as priests. All the newly ordained priests already have their pastoral assignment. Between them, they will serve more than 5 million people in parishes, religious institutes, and some will even go to other dioceses. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.